Hey everybody, welcome back to Filmmonger. I'm your guy, Trevor Baker, and today we're actually going to be talking about how many people Andrew Garfield kept in the dark regarding his reprising of Spider-Man and Spider-Man No Way Home. Before I get into that, we actually have a question for you. Today is not a trivia question, it's actually just going to be picking your brain. What is your favorite Spider-Man girlfriend duo that's been seen on the big screen so far? Tom McGuire and MJ? Andrew Garfield and Gwen Stacy, or Tom Holland and his MJ with Zendaya. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and I will give you a like if you share. Now let's get started. So the utmost secrecy was hell when it came to this film. I mean, it's so many videos of Tom Holland and Tom McGuire and Andrew Garfield just outright denying their involvement in Spider-Man No Way Home. And although we had multiversal crosses of villains, we hadn't had a confirmation about the three being in the film really all the way up till the movie. I mean, there was the leaks, there was things that seemed to be going towards that direction, but no definitive like, yes, this is happening, which ultimately led to a really great theater experience. I still remember sitting there and seeing Andrew Garfield walk through the portal for the first time. I was like, oh my word, like, this is really happening, and it was a really, really special moment. Andrew Garfield kept the people most close to him in the dark, including his actual trainer and Emma Stone herself. He recently spoke on a Happy Sad Confused podcast, it's the title of that podcast, where he discussed the surprise role of Spider-Man No Way Home and how he had to keep it from his former Amazing Spider-Man co-star Emma Stone. Andrew says, Emma kept on texting me, and she was like, are you in the new Spider-Man film? And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. She was like, shut up, just tell me. I'm like, honestly, I don't know. I kept it going even with her. It was hilarious. And then she saw it and she was like, you're such a jerk. I didn't tell anyone, I took it super seriously. It's actually pretty amazing when it comes to like really close friends or family, when you have like that secret that, you know, everyone else can't know, but the people most closest to you can. Andrew Garfield took a step further. He said, no, I really want this not to get out. Although it did get out, but it wasn't going to be confirmed, at least by the people who are actually in the roles. And I felt that. Like, I don't think there's any definitive, like, no, we actually, I mean, maybe the lizard getting punched in that trailer, but literally the whole time we were like, are they, are they not, are they, are they not? I mean, if we had to make a total number of how many videos were made on just that topic, it would be super, super massive. Garfield took the role seriously and we're thankful for that and we're thankful for him reprising the role, doing it justice, and we're thinking that maybe we might get him back as the Amazing Spider-Man in a third film. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. We really do appreciate you on the channel, supporting us, and if you want to support us even further, you can like, subscribe, and turn on notifications because it really does help us here at the channel. And the answer to that question is really whatever you thought, but my personal preference is I like Tobey Maguire and MJ. Next to probably they're the healthiest relationship, but I just, I guess this is because where it all started for me, and so there's like this nostalgia grip to it. I really do like the other two as well. They're very close. There's not like a definitive best for me, but all the Spider-Man are great. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, we will see you later.